That looks cheap as shit. Look how crooked that is. What's up there, Harry Carey? What is going on, everybody? Jay Higgs here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. It's very, very rare now to see a Chinese company actually manufacture something that's a DNA 250 or even a 75C. And Lost Vape has always been in that block as a company that does it. Of course, you had H Cigar, but I don't know whatever happened to Martin and his wife or his girlfriend that used to run the company. They, they were, I would way before Las Vegas. So I would say that H Cigar was one of the companies that really, really started implementing DNAs into the Chinese market. And of course you had companies that like SX Mini that would take the DNA, which was the DNA 40 or the 30 even, uh, and then copy those. And then once he, he was really copying and trying to implement in their own design, well, that's when they made the SX350 chip and other ones. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, you don't see a lot of companies do this because it doesn't make business sense to use a chip that's made in America. It would make more sense if you just, well, we've seen even companies in China try to copy the 75C chip. You know, the three-button configuration? Well, there you go. And then it goes even further than that. You can even have ones that look like the default theme of Evolve, but once you plug it into eScrap, it doesn't work. Lost Fape just kind of took the reins, and H Cigar was still making stuff, but then H Cigar wanted to go in the proprietary field. And I told Martin, shut up, it's not smart. It's not. And they did it with the Werewolf. Now, the Werewolf wasn't bad, it's just it would have been much better with the DNA. Lost Vape hasn't lost a ways. You probably wonder why I'm talking a lot about Lost Vape and not about the title of this, the Think Vape. Well, apparently the two of these are brothers or friends. One was with Lost Vape, they split up. The other one went Think Vape. I think it's all a ruse. I think basically it's all the same fucking company just coming out with a different way of releasing the same product. Now, this product is not to be compared to the paranormal, but we sort of have to because Lost Vape Paranormal, Think Vape, you remember Think Vape did the, uh, I think it was the Finder, the, the 250, the Finder, I think it was called that, which looked like the, the Triad. Like that, I think that's what that is. I, I may be wrong, but you get, no, I, I think I'm pretty accurate there. And I think I also did a review on both of those, definitely in the Triad. So they're very similar. And the price point, some people may, you know, shrug a shoulder and be like, ah, it's too much. It's really not. 150 bucks for a DNA 250C, uh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Because the chip, the way that they buy it, Lost Vape or Think Vape, figure out 60 60 bucks, maybe 50 bucks if they buy 10,000 of them. Bit of a profit margin there. So without further ado, that's what we're going to be going over. This is the Think Vape Oxo. How would by the Evolve DNA 250C chip? I have no idea how new this is, but we're about ready to find out what it's like inside. I have a very, very strong feeling that this is going to look and feel just like a Lost Vape product. So without further ado, flip it. All right, what you're looking at is the packaging for the Think Vape Oxo powered by the Evolve DNA 250C chip. Evolve color configuration up here on the top. Got that carbon fiber. Man, it makes me wonder when these companies started transitioning over to carbon fiber. Like, it was just regular colors. And that's all it was, was just the sticker. So, maybe they did what Lost Vape did. But, I will say that Think Vape doesn't go as crazy as all the different materials as what you would see tipped on a Lost Vape product. And on the side, you got the website. Nothing else. Keep out of reach of children. On the back side of the box, everything that's included. And then you have a scratch and sniff down here, bottom. This is going to taste and smell exactly like a candy wrapper. So as soon as you open it up, you're going to get a little piece of paper, which is your warranty card, which hypothetically what you're supposed to do is fill this out and send it. And then also you get a user manual, which I don't really know why you would need that for a DNA. I guess if this is your first mod, then sure, you get a little USB cable inside of here. And then of course the mod. Now I can tell you right off the jump, I feel in this versus the paranormal that this is going to feel a little bit better. However, you'll see that their stitching that they have gone, oh my God, that is tacky as shit. The stitching... Uh, does not match the rest of the mod. To be honest with you, I don't know what is carbon fiber. I'm assuming it is that sticker, but check check this out. This is how you automatically know it's not carbon fiber. Look at this. You cannot do with carbon fiber, right? 
Like, let, let me just show you something. Let me show you carbon fiber. So this is a real carbon fiber, right? This is not that shit you buy off of Amazon. This is real. This is hard. Now, obviously, even if I take this off of the case, you will see that real carbon fiber. I, I feel like I should have been showing this all along because you always have these companies that tell you something is real, right? Like that is what real carbon fiber looks like. You can see the threading on the inside, but companies don't do this. You know why? Because it would cost too much money. Go even a step further. Here's some more carbon fiber for that ass. Hey, yo, this is more carbon fiber, but this one is very, very, very much unique in a sense that, you know, an individual had to make this. This is not what you would see on any type of mod in China. And, and it's odd because they seem to highlight it being carbon fiber. I know I'm focusing a lot about it, and I, I don't think that it would even have real carbon fiber at the price point of what this is. But why not just say carbon fiber lookalike? Or you could do what smoke does and say rubberized carbon fiber. They say rubberized wood. This threading here, this stitching, does not look good. Not sure what color it is. It's probably red. And then you have this weird plastic type of look. The body itself is not bad, but, you know, if they got rid of these ridges, what I think is what makes it unique, but if they got rid of it, it may be a little bit more comfortable. And they went a little bit extra in as far as putting OXO and then Think Vape inside of the rubberized carbon fiber. The feel itself feels pretty good. Well, I was actually holding that upside down. Either way, I, it doesn't really matter how you're going to hold it. The button is flat, and you do have a... Wow, that looks pretty good underneath there. A little protective sticker. Up, down, select buttons. No dings, dents, burst, spurs, cowboy boots anywhere on this. It, it does feel pretty good. I just feel like it would feel that much better if these three ridges were actually removed or cut in. I don't know why I'm giving them any kind of... Oh, that looks cheap as shit. Look how crooked that is. Wait, that's... Oh, my. Look at that, huh? So when you push it... Right? Look what happens. When you push it, you're naturally pushing down the cap so it does nothing, and then, of course, it springs back. So that's a shitty design right off the jump. They want you to kind of stick your finger in here, which I hate doing because that gets underneath whatever nails I do have and then kind of jacks it up. But oh, I'm going to use a screwdriver just for this and probably scrap. Maybe if you do it like this. Hold on. No. Yeah, that, that that's no better. And then there you go on the inside. Got your polarity right there, positive, negative, and down on the bottom, positive and negative. A lot of real estate here that they could have got rid of, but I'm going to put the batteries inside of it. But before, actually, yeah, well, let's do that. So we got positive side here, negative side there. A little bit of movement there, nothing to be... Ooh. Yeah, this... See, this is what I'm talking about. Quality assurance, right? Did they design that to be that shape where it's cockeyed? I, I know you guys see that. That's not me. Like, it's it's legitimately cockeyed. Oh, don't make a big deal about it. Okay, so next time you buy a brand new phone in the mail and the button, the power button is crooked or just non-touchable, you tell me that that's okay. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. And a kind of generic theme, a little bit of color. Nothing, again, that is super ridiculous or crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's it. That's what you're looking at. Let's see what fits on the top of this. 24 millimeter, no problem whatsoever. 25 millimeter, mmm, 25. You can see a 25 does not, well, it, it does fit, but you see what happens. They have this beveled edge, and then it goes over that kind of pseudo top section there. Not a fan of that. All right. So once again, that is the Think Vape OXO DNA 250C. Let's bring it back on top. All right. Back on top with the Think Vape OXO. Now, it doesn't look that bad. I, I will say that. I, I don't know about the color configuration of the body. I get it. You could have changed it. I don't think I could. I think all you could change was just the whatever the hell that rubber material. What is up with this? Why are companies doing this? <coughs> oh. If you, uh, uh, oh, it's like I inhaled air, but it had sand in it. Mm, that might be from my crotch. Okay, so as you noticed, right, 
I've been uploading a lot to the members only section. Now, if you're watching this afterwards and it's open to the public, link, totally fine. But what has happened is I've lost a lot of drive of doing reviews of pod mod type of systems. So I'm going out of my way to buy different mods, whether they're old or new, just because I've done so many of them. And I feel I have more motivation to do it for the members. Now, that's not saying I'm ever going to stop doing videos because I won't. I've just gone back to my old ways because, I, you know, hey, it's giving back to the people that are giving to me. See, no problem with that whatsoever. Now, if you do see a problem with that and you give this a down vote, I'm sorry that I told you the way that it is. But someone's got to buy these mods because the lost vape isn't going to send it to me or think vape. Okay, so talking about this mod, what do we got? Now, you don't, and also, let me point this out. You don't have to comment down below that you can't afford it. It's totally fine. I don't, you don't need to give me your money. Just keep your money, buy your cigarettes, or your coils, or like pre-made snowballs, any of that is fine. I, I, I'm just, I was just making a point about buying these products and how I feel like I just wasted this money. So what I'm going to do then is just give it back, do like a giveaway or something for it because I'm never going to use it. This is going to sit on the wall and it's just that. Now that's not saying that it's a shitty design. I just want you to understand that. But there is some caveats with this. First off, that battery cap on the bottom. That is crooked as shit, and it's a very flawed design, and I've been through this before. It's not like this is the first mod that has had this type of apparatus that you push down that you have to use a nail to lift it up. The point of having a spring mechanism is once you do this, it should have enough of ill resistance to pop back up by itself. I shouldn't have to, like, f like I don't, I don't, now that there's batteries in it, there's probably enough of pressure that's going to push it out. Yes, there is. It's just that initial time. Or if you put this like on a shelf or something without batteries, then obviously you're going to have to do that all the time. Again, I, I, I don't think it's necessarily a ripoff. It's just typically what something with the DNA 250C would sell for. But if we're comparing this to a paranormal, the problem with the paranormal is they got that weird fucking ring or, or even the Centaurus. They got that. They, they got too much shit going on. Pick one material and run with it. At least with the Lost Vape series, the carbon fiber looks a whole lot better than what this does. But for whatever reason, this is $10 more than what you'll find. I keep saying paranormal. Uh, same shit, paranormal, centaurus, centaurus. Uh, no matter which one you do, they're all the same. It's just the body that changes a little bit. Honestly, the best one that Lost Vape has made that's got a 250C in it, I'd say the Therion, but that's a 75C. I think if we've had this problem before, I don't think they ever made the Therion with a 250C. They did do a dual battery. I think it's got a 167 though. And the issue is with the Therion making 167, that was probably one of their best platforms. Granted, we can go back a little bit further with the EPT series. Phenomenal. They just, they're not that way. And this is ThinkFape I'm talking about. But it's still the same thing. Even if you look back to ThinkFape series, they're better older than they are newer. They've cheapened out on the materials. They're going with this padded shit that looks like it belongs on the head liner of your car. It's not something you would put on a mod. And the cross stitch, not the cross stitch, just stitching in general. Yeah, if I was to rate this mod on a 0 to 10, I'm going to give it like four or five aesthetically it is not pleasing there's way too many different materials the 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 button on the bottom to take the battery cap off is easily three four points off it's a it's a terrible terrible design it doesn't matter what it's on it just uh, it's disgusting i think smoke did it first but then they changed it up and now here comes think Fape with a crooked ass button look how crooked that is how does that not bother you like what we're going to send you a phone, but it's going to have no screen on it. You just you just got to point and click at shit, and hopefully a phone will ring. And then you just tell them you love them. And then you can't hang up, so just throw the phone. Yeah, a four is what I'm going to give this. If your idea is a 250C and it has to be something that's current, i look into getting something that's 3D printed that you could essentially buy for the same price, maybe a little bit higher, because at least at that point, it will feel lighter. It will do exactly the same thing, and it will look a whole lot better than what this does. But keeping in mind that not many companies make 3D printed 250Cs, there's very few of them, and the few of them that there are, I've lost a lot of hope in, and I've kept it real. Have you? Jesus.